everyone knows what Strictly is. Um, everyone would love to be on it, or secretly would love to be on it, I think. And you're just seeing ordinary people who don't necessarily know how to put one foot in front of the other when it comes to dancing, learning. I'm really lucky because I've seen a lot of the breakfast, the BBC Breakfast family, go through the Strictly process. Um, Chris Hollins, Susanna Reid, Carol, all did brilliantly. And I'm hoping I'm gonna get some tips from them. To me, jeans and trainers can be quite glamorous as far as I'm concerned. So this is going to be completely different for me. I would never say I'm a girly girl who enjoys sequins and satin. I'm more comfortable on the golf course with a seven iron than I am with a sparkly handbag. I've got someone designing clothes for me to make me look as good as I can while I'm dancing. Amazing. If I were to choose between ballroom and Latin, it would have to be Latin. Just simply because I think it feels more instinctive. So when you hear a beat, you kind of want to move your body to it. Whereas being elegant and poised and long neck, and that's just not me. Stevie Wonder, how could you not get up to Superstitious or Signed, Sealed, Delivered? They, those songs, I'd be up, and I don't care if anyone was on the dance floor, I would be up there shaking my thing. If my friends were to describe my current level of dancing, it would be ambitious, carefree, and probably a little bit dangerous. So I feel quite sorry for any partner that is lumbered with me because I'm stubborn, I'm determined, and I'm a perfectionist. Qualities which don't necessarily work together. There will be a few stairs, I think. I'm quite known for a bit of a death stare. So perhaps that will come out when I'm feeling a bit stubborn and petulant. <laughs>